Hello everybody, welcome back to Arena. We're going to play and try and get one more win today uh, before I call it a day. Um, and yeah, we'll play play however many games it takes to fill up 20 to 30 minutes, but one win is the goal. At least one win. Let's see what we got. Our opponent is playing first, which is not really what we ever want to see, but... Not the end of the world. Uh, yes, hand is pr pretty okay. We don't have any way to get blockers out of the way, which is a little bit worrisome, but hopefully we don't need any way to get blockers out of the way. Well, blue is probably what we want to see our opponent playing. Oh, that's not good. But we have all the lands we want to see for the entire game now, so let's hope we don't find any more. Comrade Celebrant would be decent if they don't have any blockers by turn 3. That'd be like really good. Got the kill spell. Yes, moment of craving. Okay, no surprises there. Alright, we'll drop the Menace one. Got another kill spell. I'm definitely exerting this guy right away. Oh wait, it doesn't have haste. Shit, this card sucks. I guess with haste maybe it's too good. I mean, it is a mythic though, come on. It should have haste. I could play that one drop red card that lets me give creatures haste, I guess. That's like an option in place of these guys. Or in place of the uh, these guys. I don't know if they're pirates though. Come on, guy. What are you doing? Right, do you have a kill spell or do you have a counter spell? Make your decision. It's an interesting uh, footnote there. Treasure map? Okay. I guess he just is willing to take the damage. Sure. Attack. We'll drop combat celebrant in. We'll force him to have a kill spell. Otherwise, he's gonna take eight damage next turn. Yeah, so this is just the one that's gonna give him a bunch of card draw later. Not the end of the world. Just kind of like ramp him to, I don't know, it's not bad. Doomfall, it's like the creature you control to exile. I mean, we'd rather get rid of this guy. Um, let's drop the Crasher, so this way we kind of have a reason to exert. Uh, what? I definitely did not mean to exert him, are you serious? Well, I think he untaps anyways here. Yeah, okay. So the problem is now he's not going to untap on my turn, though, when he should have. I don't know. I definitely did not mean to exert him there. But that is interesting. This guy does let me exert twice in one turn. I'm definitely like missing out on three damage next turn, though, as a result of that misclick. Unfortunately... Um, we can reveal pirate, I guess, because we're going to play it, so... We'll see if that 3 damage ends up biting us in the ass. So, like, we just win this turn if he doesn't, like, kill combat celebrant. Pretty much. Could have that 3 mana board wipe. Yeah, there it is. That's a bummer. Whoosh. Alright. Well, time to start finding those Hazardous and Glory Bringers. We got five spread throughout the next 48 cards. Or, you know, a bunch of different uh, 
haste creature. Oh my god. Why? Flooding is real. And now he's going to be able to keep mana up too. That sucks. That was like the turn we needed to be able to play another threat. Because now he's going to be able to counter preemptively instead of having to tap out on his turn to kill things. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have played those guys, but the thing is, like, if he didn't have a kill spell there, we just win. So I feel like when we know that that board wipe is like a one of in this deck by default, it's probably still worth doing that. I don't know. What other board wipes are on here right now? We got Amon Cat block and Ixalan block. So like Star of Extinction, um, the pirate one or the non-pirate one, the black one we just saw. Uh, oh, the Bonte's Reckoning or whatever, that'd be on here. That's a problem. I mean, we could still just draw Hazoret though, so that's fine as well. I mean, I'll attack into that, sure. If he wants to trade, I'll, I'll make that trade. Come on, dude. Why does this guy play so slow? You got one mana. <sighs> hmm. This is unreasonable. Just pass. He used one timeout. I guess he has one left. Like he's looking at things, you can see his mouse moving around. Why is this timer so long? It's like so much slower than the one before it was. If it's gonna do that, why doesn't it just like give you a full circle instead of starting at like the halfway point? That's weird. Is he just like AFK? I don't understand. Oh, he has another one. He's still mousing over shit. Like, he's here. Thank you. Jesus. Alright, I mean, I doubt he wants to block. He probably has a kill spell in his hand anyways, so he has to just take the three. If he doesn't have a kill spell, then he can't attack here either, really. Alright, that's the kill spell. Okay, so he probably can't attack. Attacking just leaves him open to Glorybringers and Hazorettes though, so I don't know if he wants to. Especially since he's tapped out. This would be a really good turn for a Hazorette, specifically Glorybringer, not so much. Because that does just trade. Oh, or he's going to attack, so give me either one. Lightning Strike? Uh, I'm just going to hold that, I think. So that'll let me, if I draw a Glorybringer, it'll let me kill this and get the blocker out of the way. Alternatively, I could just try and draw two of them, you know? And you can't always bring this back with a bomb, even if I do kill it, so... Really, I need to draw, like, some threats, preferably with haste. Or a second kill spell, I guess, but... Sure. So that's pretty bad for me. He does tap out for it, though. Second light lightning strike here would do it. I wouldn't mind that. Glorybringer. Alright. He could have unsummon. 
In which case, we're just dead. Uh, no, I guess we live with one, but... He's gonna use his timer again? <laughs> one mana. I don't understand. Thank you. Okay, he does have the unsummon. That's fine. Uh, let's just lightning strike him now then. Because basically we're dead no matter what if we don't draw a lightning strike at this point, so. Because uh, Glarebringer is going to be able to get one out of the way. Um, not both, but this forces him to keep a blocker, and it can't be this guy, because I would just kill it. I guess the alternative is we let him attack with both, and then we use the lightning strike at the end of his turn, but the thing is, like, he, I'm sure, has counter spells, so now he's going to be able to just counter the glory bringer, theoretically. If we draw a lightning strike, then we could possibly win through a counter spell here. But if not, then we're done -zo. Man, we really just drew like too too many lands earlier. I don't think our opponent's been playing like super great either. Alright, I mean that's good. So, he's going to counter this, and then we'll be able to Lightning Strike, hopefully. If he has two counter spells, then it's just game. You got it. Yay or nay. That was the top deck we needed, so... Any other top deck, and I think we just lose. Uh, he does have it. Alright, we lose anyways. GG. Bummer. That was a close game. We just drew way too many lands, it seems, early on. Go back and forth between flooding and not having enough to play Hazard at. Alright, let's try again. Uh, nope. Can't keep that one. Like I said, go back and forth between flooding and not having enough lands. Uh, nope. Can't really keep this one either. If we don't draw a second land, we lose. But, uh, I don't know that. Five is better than this anyways, so... We are going to draw the second land, thankfully. And we're going to play against dinos, so we definitely need to be drawing lands against dinos, because Hazorat and uh, Glorybringer are going to be key. We need to be able to get over the top of them. Uh, I can't even play this, can I? Is this pirate? Nope. All right, just get in there. Frail the Death Spitter. Do you damage the opponent or Planeswalker? Sure. We're just gonna kill that. So I'll just get in for another two here. Why wouldn't you attack there? Um, let's just attack first. I think we play this guy. Reveal him. And then we play this. See what he has. We don't want to play this pre combat because we couldn't attack with it anyways. Now we can kill this and lightning strike whatever it spits out. Alternatively, we can ping and lightning strike that. 
So we'll go with that two for one. Yep, no lands. Get in there again. So now he can block. We'll get his 3-3. Three, three. Still can't block the uh, Trailblazer though, but I mean again, we're just not drawing lands, so we're not going to be able to do anything anyways. He keeps playing them, so he's just going to get way bigger than us. Yeah. That does, does do it. So that's probably a game. Yeah. Alright, let's try again. We got time for one more. Hop right in there. I don't know if we should have mulliganed farther on that one. I think like... That star was like probably as good as we could have hoped for off of a five land or five card hand, right? Ah, oh my God, this hand has no creatures. This hand's not gonna win, but I don't think it's worse than a six lander either necessarily. All right, that's that's what we want to draw. And Magma Spray is good against the green white deck too. Uh, that's fine as well. Does Magma Spray make this die? I'll find out. No? Okay. That's what I thought. I just wanted to check. I think we had that happen in one of our earlier games. So I just wanted to make sure it works how we think. So at this point, I guess I mean we're happy with creatures or lands. We do still want to curve out into Glorybringer, but all right, we'll just keep getting him for two. I don't like playing the Cartouche unless it's helping us get by a blocker. Sure. I think we're just gonna two for one ourselves to kill that. It's fine. I mean, I guess we should have seen if we do a land. Um, so playing a card to here lets us get in with haste. And they both have menace, so they're not really gonna have trouble with blockers unless our opponent can play more than one anyways. So hopefully our opponent plays, spends all of his resources dealing with these. If he just plays a creature here, then we're in really good shape. Interesting. Um. Yeah, there's not not a lot we're scared of at this point. All right, that's good. If he has two, then then we have a problem. That's fine. The life gain is a bit rough, but Glorybringer... We are not going to exert, because he can't block anyways. So I don't have him in lethal range yet. Maybe we should have just exerted, because odds are he's going to be able to just kill this. So at least it gets the lieutenant off the board. I don't know. I like the idea of getting a second glory bringer hit in instead if he doesn't have removal. I think it's worth it. Can't attack or block. Alright, I mean, if you got it, you got it. So that's him gets a third vampire. If we draw Hazard out here, we don't just win, but it's not a good block for him either way with the Trailblazer. But I mean, we're happy to see a Hazard or a Glorybringer here. We definitely exert this time as well. 
Because that way he can't even block the Trailblazer if he wanted to. Just grabs another Forerunner, okay. Um, yeah, let's get in. And trap you. So now we have a problem because, I mean, for starters, he's going to be able to play... Ooh, okay, that's not good for us either. Alright, uh, what does it mean for us? Glorybringer is a good one. So I think... I think we attack with this, and we exert this, right, I'm exerting, yes, killing this guy, so he can't block, and that just puts him dead, right, nice, okay, we got there, figured the line out. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here, and I'm probably going to be done playing. So I guess that's a card we already have four of, so it's just going to go to Vault Progress. Is that how that works? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, we're done here. I'm probably done for the day. I don't really want to just keep playing for commons. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.